pilot it. Today I'm going to um, introduce a very green fashion brand and uh, share a story about uh, the guy who leads me to this stage. And first of all, the brand called um, San Fan Yu and it is contemporary fashion label. Now let's have a just have a look with my uh, latest collection. How do you guys feel? Good. It's good. I know. <laughs> and have you guys uh, watched any fashion show before? Yes. I think so. Yeah. And you know, actually, I'm not handsome guy, so I will not show you the finale. So you guys, if you're still interested in me, you can search on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. And um, this collection is called San. S A N is a Japanese word. It showcases. Uh, in the largest uh, sustainable fashion design competition in the world called uh, Eco Shi Design Award. And uh, it holds in Hong Kong, Hong Kong Fashion Week in January. And you can see the um, pictures and uh, we ha I have models <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and which is inspired from um, Sam Master Shinru's Suzuki's book. And do you guys like reading? Not only um, magazine or comics, any? Actually, I prefer Animax, <laughs> Japanese Animax, yeah? Naruto, One Punch Man, any friends here? Yeah, One Piece, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, uh, Pikachu, yeah? <laughs> and actually, most likely, I'm influenced by the uh, Japanese culture since I have studied uh, Japanese history in uh, secondary school. I'm curious to know more about their values, um, philosophy, um, lifestyle, and anything, anything else. And let's show the other um, finalists in this competition. Um, they come from um, Europe and Asia. We are 10, we are the final 10. And can you find any boy in this photo? <laughs> no? Actually, you can see the short hair, this young girl. Her mom just uh, asked her, where is the boy? There are 10 girls only. <laughs> so yes, I have very long hair, and people are interested in my hair more than me. <laughs> Actually, especially the children. I have some uh, workshop uh, in some NGOs, and they just asked me that, oh, why don't you cut your hair? Uh, a boy with 
long hair is no good. Uh, yeah. And even my mom would say, a boy with uh, in short hair is much more handsome. At least handsome than you, okay? <laughs> yeah, I think it's sad. <laughs> I'm sad. And, but these guys never asked me why I'm in long hair. They didn't think it is uh, weird, but they did think I'm not handsome. You know, um, it, is your, it is not your dress make you look fat. It's your fat make you look fat. So I think, <laughs> so it's not my weird make me, re not, it's my weird make me weird. Yeah, not my long hair make me weird. <laughs> if I am not handsome, why I need to pretend I am a handsome guy? I think that's not me, okay? So this are the other uh, collection in my life. The first one, the first menswear collection. Yeah, very soft one. <laughs> and the collection's length, uh, Yon, Y-O-N, is Japanese work in number four. And um, it's inspired from the uh, traditional aesthetic, Japanese aesthetic called wabi-sabi, and the spirit of Bushido. I think you guys heard that before. And actually, I'm very lucky guy, and I never thought I could have a New York Fashion Week one-way show uh, with my first collection. And you may spot there uh, some white sneakers, and I use them in my both uh, collections. Yes, I designed them. And this is my uh, first shoe design uh, called Yon in the collection. And actually, <laughs> <laughs> I am really lucky, man. Really, really lucky. And this shoes was produced and open sales sponsored by the largest local fashion company. There is a, a Supreme um, Fashion Design Competition that every fashion guys knew it called uh, Young Fashion Designers Contest. YDC, or we just call it um, Yang Di in Hong Kong. It is very, very difficult to get in, and 16 lucky, lucky guys per year only. There are many final year design students, uh, very many uh, young designers will apply it every year. And yeah, before I hand in uh, my collections form, I was even not yet start my um, fashion course in uh, poly you, but I know I have to try. I must grab each opportunity. Wherever I did not study visual art, I am the newbie of design, and somehow I'm nobody in fashion. Okay. And this is the same um, menswear collection in New York and YDC. As I said, I'm a very lucky man, very, very lucky one, okay? <laughs> Because my dad did told me, you should not be afraid to try, and you will never know what will happen in the following. Yeah. After the collection, I would like to introduce a guy who um, influenced me, lead me, or announced me to this stage. You can see this guy. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes teenagers were confused that why it is so hard to imagine their future in Hong Kong. When he was studying a associate degree in social work, he thought uh, actively voicing out and defending social justice by demonstrations are worth to do as a social work student. At the same time, his girlfriend was studying fashion design in Poly U. It's a joke, right? He realized that more than 80% students are possible to stand out even they did not study visual arts. He was very surprised that drawing skills is not basic requirement in fashion design. In fact, he was a lucky guy too. He met a teacher named Connie, told him a theory. Sometimes we have to wait across the, the stream by feeling the way. We call it in Cantonese, Mochi Setao Guo Ho. But it is very difficult <laughs> to understand, yeah, for him. 
really. After two years, associate degree course, um, senior year bachelor degree or uh, full-time social worker were the only choices in general. But he chose the third option to apply the higher diploma fashion course. People thought he went backwards. He just wanted to grab um, the previous uh, chance to chase his dream. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, after the discussion with his family, he got back to social work degree. Although Polly, you offered him a place, and the interviewer said, "You have the great chance to be our student." In the in the end of the interview, you see, this is destiny. He actively joined committee in school as a president to enrich his life experiences for the future. Social justice is an essential um, value as a human. He put all effort and time on his belief. Therefore, he finally a uh, dead life fighter. <laughs> his final placement was in crisis. He thought it was time management issue on his private life, uh, committee duty, blah, blah, blah. But um, these supervisors gave a new reply he never heard. It is not about your time management, and somehow you manage it great. See, you handle your committee duties smoothly, but you never hand in from work on time. In fact, it depends on what you want to do. It is your own choice. Don't make excuse with what time management issue anymore. And I think he is a lucky man too. After the conversation, he has a question. Why I am here? Huh. And you see, <laughs> he was fighting to graduate his um, social work degree. And before, um, 140 weeks after his friend's poorly you graduation show, he said, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. And luckily, his friends, social work friends said, I hope someday you join them. After he had a deal with his mom, he could study in fashion if he entered any final one of local competitions before August. And luckily, before 128 weeks, it's crazy. He made it, he really made it. Got on the one way in a local mini competition. And he thought it is a big joke in his life. Yeah, same thing, this is destiny. And before uh, 96 weeks, he grabs the same opportunity again. Finally, he stands in front of the door. So now you have already heard about the story about after the 84th week at the beginning of my talk. I believe you guys knew who I'm talking about. It's me, Sun Fan Yu, Sun Fan Yu. Yeah, thank you. And the one who able to lead you to the future should be yourself. So, eh, okay. So, and please, <laughs> Always be yourself. Thank you.